guys, this is Legman2005, and I am here bringing you an unboxing and review of the new Masters of the Universe Evil Lord of Destru <laughs> Destruction Skeletor. And this figure is new for 20, and retro, or modern posing retro play, and this is based off of the original retro Skeletor figure, except it has modern posing, so that means it has like a bunch of, you know, elbows and knee joints and swivels and all that jazz. So th this is obviously the front of the box. Very nice box. This is the back showing you a cross sell of all the figures in the line so far. There is a very nice piece of artwork for Skeletor, and it's showing you that he can do a bunch of powerful poses. Now, you can get these figures exclusively at Walmart for this year, but next year they will be available everywhere. You can; These figures are $14.99 each, so they're very cheap. Well, for me, because I buy Transformers and they're like $20. <laughs> Uh, anyways, I would not, I would recommend, um, waiting until next year to buy these figures. And I'll tell you why at the end of the video. Oh, but just don't buy these from Walmart. So, anyways, let's get this guy open. See how cool he actually is. There's the main comic, but it is Beast Barrage. It's very thin paper, so you guys can kind of see what that's like. You know, nothing much. So yeah, you got all the cross sell of the other figures. Oh boy, I have been anxiously awaiting this figure for a very long time, and it is worth it. Very worth it. Now I just got to free him from his plastic prison. I've got my scissors here. I can cut this and this. The piece of tape holding his accessories in the packaging just fell. It's a Havoc staff and one half of the power sword. And Skeletor himself. Oh my gosh, this thing is amazing. So I'll cut, play around with the figure for a little bit, and I'll come back with my thoughts on it. All right, guys, so here we have Skeletor opened up and out of his packaging, and he is a awesome figure. I would totally recommend him next year. <laughs> um, I just love the colors on this thing. It doesn't really come off very good on camera, but the colors are very vibrant, and as you, some of you may know, this is... As some of you may know, uh, purple is one of my favorite colors, is my favorite color. And this figure has a lot of it. So let's take a look at the accessories real quick. So here's his Havoc staff. Very nice, mine's a little bent, but you know, it's a very soft, you know, kind of gummy rubber. You can see the Sort of sculpted in deer head, something like that. It's the bottom. You know, it's just molded in a purple plastic. Same with the power sword right here. And it does have holes on the back because it can connect to He-Man's he half of the power sword. So yeah. 
And these do fit nicely into his hand, like so. Unfortunately on mine, uh, the Havoc staff doesn't fit too well into his hand. But yeah. Onto the figure himself. A very nice sculpted head. I love that. That yellow, red, black, and green combo along with the purple hood. It's awesome. He's got all of his muscles and stuff right here. Got big beefy thighs. Not so much beefy calves, but he's got his dinosaur feet. <laughs> I love his chest plate here. Very, very cool. And this keep com keeps coming undone. Hmm. Come on, there we go. Now on to articulation, which is the main selling point of these figures. So the head is on a dumbbell ball joint, so it can look up, up that far, down that far, swivels all the way around. There's a pin hinge in the arm joints, so they can go out that far and all the way around, although it is hindered by this shoulder pad. The elbows are also on a pin hinge, so they can turn and hinge and stuff like that. Same with the wrists. And the legs are on a ball joint, if you can see that. They can kick forward that far, back that far, so not very much. Can do the splits, kind of. <laughs> um, the knees are on a pin hinge, so I can do that and swivel. The calf can swivel right here. There's a hinge at the foot and an ankle pivot. Let's do some comparisons with Skeletor. He, here is the Voyager class first movie Megatron. And see how they scale together. And here is the um, McDonald's Kung Fu Panda monkey. Because <laughs> that's the only other thing that I have to compare him to. Actually, no. If any of you have a Hero Factory box, that's how he scales next to Stormer. So there you have that. There you go, guys. There is the review for the Masters of the Universe Origin Skeletor. And I think he's an awesome figure, very well made, very well sculpted. I like the new head that he has right here. And yeah, so would I recommend him? Heck yes. Next year. Because right now on Walmart.com, they are going up to $30. And on Amazon, they're up to $26. So I would definitely wait until next year. Or just see what your re region has them at. Um, I would definitely check Walmart.com and Amazon to see what price they're at. And if they're at a good price, I would definitely recommend picking them up. So there you go, guys. This has been the Lego Man 2005, signing off.